Now, women with diabetes are at more risk for heart disease than men with diabetes of the corresponding age group. Similarly, women are more at risk for diabetes related complications. And it's not just that women are also involved in the future of an unborn child. So it's very, very important that women with diabetes have very good control sugars. So as a woman, she goes through a number of phases. So during the menstruation, she might have food cravings, mood changes. So it's very much natural that the sugars go up and down during that period. In the postmenopausal period, they are more liable for infections, particularly urinary tract infections or fungal infections. And the most important thing in a female's life with diabetes is during pregnancy. So the earliest way to pick up the gestational diabetes is by doing a GTT at 24 to 28 weeks of pregnancy or before if she is at high risk for gestational diabetes. And it just not just ends there but post delivery it's very very important that you get your gtt particularly the fasting and the two hour post glucose six weeks after delivery so i'm going to talk about family and diabetes so when this issue arrives, there are two questions. One is, am I at risk for diabetes with my parents being diabetic? And the second thing is, how can I help someone in my family with diabetes? So we all know that diabetes is of two types, type 1 which particularly happens in young kids and the type 2 which happens in the elderly people. So in both these cases, the genetic component plays a role and this is genetic component is more important in the type 2. Particularly when your lifestyle changes are missed, you are at risk for diabetes. And we off late because of the urbanization, we see a number of patients, young adults coming on with diabetes. So how can you help your family member with diabetes? The simplest way is to engage with the patient. There is a great amount of depression which is going on in every patient with diabetes. So you will have to engage with them in fighting depression. There might be some changes in the routine like timing of your meals, snacking pattern, you might have to change your routine for your family member. Next one is as a, a person with diabetes will need a lot of motivation and it's the duty of the family members to keep up the job. I'm going to talk about one of the most important but least spoken about topic, medical adherence. So it refers to the extent to which a person sticks on to his medications. But there are many challenges in achieving this. The first and foremost being the cost of the medicine. So often patients land up taking half the dose or alternative day, not realizing the real need for the medicine. And uh, the patient demographic profile also matters. For example, there might be a small kid or a very elderly gentleman so who will need someone else for the medicine to be administered. So those patients should also understand the importance of a prescription. And now we are in an era of polypharmacy. We have the cardiologist prescribing his drugs, the nephrologist prescribing his drugs. So with all these medicines together, patients really find it difficult to stick on to the prescription. And further to the adding to the agony is the complex dosing regimens, uh, complex combinations. So how can we avoid this? The best way is to take the right medicine at the right time in the right way. So understand, before you leave your doctor's chamber, just understand the prescription when a medicine has to be taken in relationship to the meal or is it in relationships to some particular timing. And uh, what you can do is, as patients, you can ask the doctor for combination of drugs. So instead of single pill, a three pill, Pill, three salts in a single pill will solve the problem. 